Welcome to my new trading tutorial on how to long or short Bitcoin on MXC platform. We're looking for discovering it step by step. So if you have questions, let me know in the comments area. By the way, if you enjoyed the video, just like it and subscribe to this YouTube channel. At the same time, if you don't have an account, you can have a bonus up to $1,000 by using the link in the description area or comments area. So let's get into the business, folks. Now, in order to long BTC or any other cryptocurrency, by the way, you need to have resources on the platform. So you must deposit into your wallet simply by using the deposit tab right there and just go through the process very simply, selecting the crypto, selecting the network, deposit to the address, and you're good to go. Once you've done that, you need to go to the futures market, top left corner menu, and then perpetual futures. Prepare USDT in your futures wallet. How do you do that? Simple. Top right corner, we click on the futures from the drop down menu. Top right corner, we have the transfer. And we move our resources from spot where if we deposit, everything is going to go in spot. There's two different wallets on the platform, the spot and the futures. So you need to move from spot into your futures, select the crypto, select the amount, transfer. No fees to transfer back and forth. Simple. So we got our resources, 97 bucks, uh, prepared in the futures wallet. Now I can go back to the futures drop down menu from the top, perpetual futures, which means that you are on the futures market, USDTM perpetual futures. That's where we always trade with USDT. Always and always into that one. Never in the coin M at all, guys. Avoid it. So now the BTC USDT is what we're looking at, which is here on the top left corner. But you can definitely surf away, trade other pairs. Simply by clicking on that little arrow right there. And you're going to see on USDTM, making sure you're in the right direction, the trading pairs that are pretty much uh, popular, hot, or the way they call them. Or you can simply search. If I want to trade, you know, top searches right now with a Solana. But what if I want to trade, um, you know, Ethereum, simple. I'm going to say Ethereum right there. And I'll have three different options. Ethereum USDT Perpetual, Ethereum USD Perpetual, or the Ethereum Rept USDT Perpetual. Something I never care about along the way with the US dollar form. I only care about the USDT form and the perpetual thing do not bothers me. I'm telling you what does it mean, um, you know, the USDT perpetual. Basically, Ethereum, USDT crypto and the perpetual means that the contracts that you're dealing are perpetual, never expiring. There are expiring contracts on the futures market and there are perpetual contracts in the future market that are expiring. This one's never expired. So there is no change to the crypto. It's the same crypto. It is, you know, this is how they are pretty much called on the futures market uh, in the way they are. So nothing to worry about that. Now, we are in the BTC USDT. Top right corner, we have open and close. We care about opening. This is what we do for the first time. Then we have the isolate or the cross uh, ability to do as margin mode. Isolate means that you're isolating your margin from your whole wallet of futures. Cross means that you don't isolate anything. You're dealing with your entire wallet of the futures. So you don't dedicate something specifically for this trade when you do cross margin mode. Just like you can do with the isolated. For example, I have a hundred bucks in my wallet balance, which you see in the bottom right corner. And I'd like to say I want to dedicate to this straight 25 bucks. I want a long BTC 25 bucks as this is how much is my margin that I want to put in, which means that I need to do isolated. I'm isolating those 25 bucks into this trade. That's where they remain. And the maximum I can lose in a possible liquidation is going to be the isolated value of $25. When you are on the cross, margin mode you don't isolate anything you're actually your trade is getting connected not to something that is isolated but to your entire wallet balance which automatically gives the logic that you are going to get your liquidation on the entire wallet balance liquidation means that you're using the value of that resource completely so they're taking everything i hope that makes sense i hope you understand the differences if you don't know how to trade don't touch futures 
check out my one-on-one -on -one coaching program where I'm taking you by hand and teach you how to trade. This is something I've been performing with more than 300 people and I've been trading since 2014 on the board. One-on-one -on -one coaching directly with me live where I'm taking you by hand just like I said and teach you how to trade. Um, you can qualify for a free conversation. Just schedule this up by yourself on Calendly and have a good time. I'm going to talk about a coaching at the end. Now, again, isolated is a lot easier to understand and deal with that. Margin on cross, you know, can at the end of the day result in the same thing if you know how to, you know, tweak it around because you pretty much take the money out of the wallet and you put it in spot so you don't get affected, right? You take the money out of the wallet that you don't want to lose and you put it in spot. Plus, on top of that, there is other safety measures that you can do, such as using a stop loss at the price you want, which means that if you want to lose $10 from your trade as a maximum loss, not because that's what you want to lose, simply you set a stop loss at that value and that's it. No one cares about your liquidation because no one deals with that due to the fact that you will exit faster. So at the end of the day, if you know how to trade, you can use isolate or across. It's pretty much the same thing. It do not matter as anything unless you are in a sophisticated and advanced way of handling the process because then there's ways to maximize things when you do cross trading but again this is a video for beginner's guide um, on the right side right next to it we have the leverage size that we can go by simply just like that beautiful uh, right below limit or market order when we do limit order we want to make sure that we select the price and we put it in the order book we want to select the quantity on a 10x leverage. You know, I have a margin of 97 bucks. So let's say I dedicate $25. And this is the total size. Attention. This is not going to be multiplied. This is already multiplied. This is how it's calculated in this specific tab. So if you want to do a 250 bucks trade, then you need to put 250 bucks there because this is your final size. Your final size comes with the fact that it has been multiplied with the leverage. So that's 25 bucks initial margin it's being shared right there let me let me present you margin 25 dollars this is multiplied with our 10x selection gives the 250 bucks position so not your 250 will be multiplied with 10x this is already the total size your initial margin is just 25 obviously uh, and then you open up a long position by clicking right there with that specific price if this is what you want or you go market order you do not decide a price the exchange is taking the best price from the order book for you which is great especially that there is no fees uh, you know on spot trading no fees by doing market order on futures it is fees you are a taker because you're taking from the market when you do a market order, you're taking from the market, you are paying 0.02% from the total size. Not from your margin, from the total size. Total size is the value after it has been multiplied with the leverage. Beautiful. A maker, when you are doing a limit order, you're a maker. It's 0%. When you're doing a market order, you are a taker. You are taking from the market. You are taking from someone that is called a maker. So you pay that guy a fee. You pay the platform a fee, of course. You don't pay to the guy. The guy is not receiving anything by doing a limit order. It's just free from fees. Beautiful. I'm doing a market order here. I'll put a 250 bucks. Or I'll put a you know, $100. Doesn't matter. With the example, open up a long position and the platform will show us the estimated liquidation price before we confirm it. Which means that if the market is dumping to that price section of 33,101, it's right there. Let me just grab this one. We are going to lose our entire margin position. Because it's isolated, we will lose only this one. If it wouldn't be isolated, we would lose our entire wallet balance. But then, if the entire balance would be uh, part of this trade, which at the moment is not, at the moment, it is only the margin we dedicated. If the entire balance would have been part of this trade, then our liquidation price would have been lower, much lower. And I will show you that very soon. Because the platform would have more available margin to decrease and more room, basically, in order to suffer decreases of an active trade. Beautiful.
uh, I still have $87 available margin I can use, which means that I can click on this little pen right here next to the margin, and I can add margin. For example, I have 87, but let me just add $37 margin. My force liquidation after adding this margin will be at 19,000. Compared to what is it right now on 33, I'm going to be in a great position. So as you see, I'm adding more margin to my trade. I'm adding more room to my trade. So I can confirm that. But I can, at the same time, reduce the margin. By clicking on the reduce one, I can go like that. Simply reducing my margin with... $40, uh, 40 bucks. No, I cannot change basically. Uh, I cannot have a lower margin than the one I said when I opened the trade, right? So I can only reduce the values I added extra after my initial opening of the trade, just like you can see that. Beautiful. Now, this is all about it. I mean, all these informations are pretty familiar and similar to you. What other things do you must know? Take profit and stop loss, you can add them right here for your entire position or for a partial position. Take profit settings, stop loss settings. You set the values. You want to sell higher, you want to sell lower on the stop loss. You want to sell higher on the take profit, you want to sell lower on the stop loss. You confirm it and that's all. Flash close means that you're going to close your position in a market order straight away. Boom, just like that. It closes it automatically. Look, we have actually longed this, uh, you know, BTC at uh, 36,617 and now it's 36,650. Now it's 1% profit. <laughs> I'm having 10 cents. Good. So flash close means to close it automatically. No one deals, no one speaks. The entire size is boom, out. Price, quantity and close long, those refer to a limit, pos limit order type of a close close for example if i want to close it at 38000 i'm going to say 38 grand right there quantity 100% and hit the close long so i'm going to have an open order and this one is going to get triggered when the market will hit $38,000 simple i'm deleting the price and uh I have basically the ability to reverse my trade. What does it mean reversing a trade? It means the fact that you are basically looking for trading the opposite straight away at a simple click with the same sizes and conditions with your margin, with your final position, with the leverage amount. And you just reverse it. So you open up a short, which is exactly under the same conditions at a time you press reverse. If you have a long position, if you have a short and you press reverse, you open up a long position with the same settings, right? So it is a way to jump from a direction into the other one much faster than dealing with the whole thing from the top right corner. It's basically a function offered by the exchange, a beneficial one. I would say 1.73% profit on this one, 17 cents. I'm getting rich guys while I'm filming this tutorial video for you. Thank you for giving me this opportunity. No, I'm just joking around, you know, I've been a good time. Basically, I'm pretty much happy to have the available time to film for people. We are having a quite busy program with all sorts of students and users, uh, clients, students, and so on. Beautiful. So that's it on the topic. Any other questions, any other situations that you felt you need to solve? If it's about the platform, ask me in the comments area. If you want to become a trader, which is not by being a gambler, if you want to maximize your activity, it's right there. ScrambleCoaching.com. Find out more about it. Jump on a free call. I can explain you more. You know, this video is pretty old right here, but I'm still the same person. I'm just looking a little older with a couple of years, but we're good to go, folks. Uh, make sure to schedule yourself if you want. So a free call on Calendly and I can talk about it as well or register now and we get in touch like that. Have a beautiful time. Like the video, subscribe to the YouTube channel and we'll talk to you soon.